hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today we will be learning how to read phone contacts through web applications in asp.net and this phone contacts can also be read in a simple html application so first of all let me ask or request you all to please subscribe my youtube channel so that whenever i will be uploading such useful videos you people will get notified for the same so let's begin with the demo first mm, see uh, i have connected my mobile device and i have and i have and i'm debugging this device from here this is the page which gets opened. I'm refreshing the same this web application in my mobile. So it will be done like this. So I'll explain you the code later. This codes I'll explain you these codes later. And first of all, let's see what exactly uh, this code does. So I'm clicking on this open contact picker in my mobile. Okay, so so in my mobile uh, i can view the list of the contacts which is being saved in my mobile so i'll be selecting one of the contact i've selected one contact and i'm clicking on the done button in my mobile and see i hope you people can see this so this is the result i selected uh, one of my contact named sandeep patel and this was the telephone number which was saved in that contact okay so this was the demo i fetched uh, the contacts which are stored in my mobile using a web application and this web application uh, I ran in my mobile browser and then I fetched the contact and the contacts got fetched like this. Hmm. So the question arises how to do this. So there are four simple step. Step one is create a web application. Let it be in, in ASP.NET or even you can use a simple HTML applications simple HTML application okay the second thing is you have to create a JavaScript file with Google code consisting of Google API's of fetching contacts and also providing the reference of this JavaScript file in my HTML or ASPX page okay and then hosting this application in some secured uh, URL on a secured using a secured domain so this is important because this Google API supports only secured URL. Now, the fourth one is opening this web page on the mobile browser and then selecting my contacts, and that contacts will get fetched, and you can view or you can use it according to your requirement. So, guys, let's do it. I'll show you the code. So, basically, this is my ASP application. Okay, I have uh, created a default page and also I've created one JavaScript file so in this ASPX page I have just uh, used a button okay this button uh, on the click of this button that um, uh, Google API gets triggered and this is a UL an ordered list uh, this is you this is used basically for view purpose I'll be printing the result uh, in this list okay and this is just for uh, an alert or something information kind of thing so this is my javascript file in this file i'll explain you the entire code this if condition is nothing but it checks whether your url is secured or not if your url is not secured this will result into an alert let me show you this Suppose I'm opening this application in my web browser and currently 
the URL isn't secured. You can see over here, it is not a secured URL. So whenever I'll be hitting this, I'll get this alert. The functionality requires secure URL that is HTTPS. This alert comes because of this code. Okay, second thing, uh, I've declared a constant variable which is nothing but the element result okay and the second variable i have declared is beauty req that is nothing but my button and i have added and click event to this button and on the click of this event get contacts function get triggered i'll explain you what is this get contacts function later uh, this is my constant variable supported. This is the code which will return value in true or false. If your application is being uh, opened in a browser of a window, window in the sense, your laptop desktop system. So it will return you false because the contact API, fetching contact API of Google is not supported on your laptop or desktop applications it is only supported in your mobile applications only fine so this is my get contacts so this get contacts function is nothing but a function which will be triggering this google fetching api or fetching contacts and it will return you with some result and this result will get render in this function to print you the desired output okay so this is the google context fetching api this api uh, expects two input parameters the first one is uh, the type of values which you want this is uh, of data type array okay so here I have declared this array and I have uh, just uh, I am having two items in this array I only want name and telephone number from the contacts we can add up to five uh, items in this array okay and the second parameter is an object data type object okay this uh, this object contains value which we have to pass as true or false if I'm passing it as false, then my contact book will allow only single contact at a time to get selected. If I'll pass it as true, then it will allow multiple contacts to get selected. So I only wanted a single contact at a time, so I've passed false in this value. Okay, so this will return me the contact details and which will get stored in this constant variable this constant variable is passed in another function that is render results this result render result function is nothing but a set of code which sorts this contact data and finally prints this, print the contact data into my uh, unordered list ul okay so i'll debug you and i'll show you step by step what exactly happens i'm refreshing this thing at in my mobile so first of all see this is returning me true because i've opened this web application in my uh, mobile okay so that's why it is returning me true and it means it will support the google contact fetching api and also my URL is secured, so that's why I didn't got this error. I hosted this application in some secured domain using some secured domain. So now I'm clicking on this button. You can see over here. Now I'm clicking on this open contact picker button. So on click of this button, get contacts function gets called. I'll debug you and I'll show you the thing. See, this is my input parameter, which is nothing but of data type array, and I have passed name and tell in that. The second one is of data type object, and I have passed multiple value as false. 
so that only single content at a time can be selected from my phone book so now I'm selecting some of the contacts in my mobile application so I've selected one contact and I'm clicking on done button so this returns me something and in return of that I passed that thing in my render result just a second so you can see I have the result which I have got from this Google contact fetching API now this function is nothing but set of code or set of logic which basically I mean uh, it is just used for sorting things so at the end I'll show you what happens so these are the list so you can see over here that the contact which I selected in my phone got fetched using this Google API so I hope you people like this video and uh, yeah please do subscribe thank you